It's such a great morning, isn't it? I mean, it's a good morning to be productive, fresh a mind, start something new. My name is Mark Aaron Alvarez II, not to be confused with my father for reasons I will not disclose in this video. But this is uh, the first episode of this vlog that I wanted to produce because I'm at a really weird stage in my life this turning point, so to speak, where I'm uh, finally achieving my childhood dream of becoming a published author. I've been working on this novel for like, you know, over half my life. It feels like from when I was a kid up till now, I've been writing a story. And um, I just kind of like wanted to share my publishing experience with you and tell you a little bit more about me and, you know, finally sort of just break down these walls that I've had up. I've always been a private person. Uh, I think if you know me, you know, I'm very outgoing. I love to be around people and uh, I'm very extroverted, but uh, you know, I keep a lot of things to myself and I'm not really the easiest person to try to get to know um, because I'm, you know, I've so always had my guard up and it's just sort of who I am. I'm really doing this because I think in sharing my publishing experience can help somebody else with their publishing experience. I don't think that I'm the type of writer who's going to say that, you know, I am an expert writer and this is how you're going to be successful and, you know, I'm not going to tell you how to write and I'm not going to sit there and act like there's only one way to write or there's a right way to write because writing is subjective. You know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And because, you know, writing like any other art form is an art form, so it is what it is. But, you know, I'm here to share a little bit about my craft and, you know, my experiences, my creative processes. And hopefully I can inspire you to sort of take action in making your uh, stories come to life, just like I did mine. A little bit about Duty Bound. Uh, it's part of a three-part trilogy called The Lightwings Epic. Uh, Lightwings is a brand I've been building since I was 13 years old. Uh, the Lightwings brand stayed with me. I even named my company after it, Lightwings Promotions. It's a digital marketing creative branding agency based in San Antonio. Uh, we do various amounts of digital media and um, you know creative branding for a variety of brands, um, ranging from e-commerce to nonprofits to retailers, you name it, all across the country. Uh, we recently acquired a partnership with HubSpot and we've been growing ever since. Been doing this for almost about two years. Essentially, Lightwings is the brand behind the brand. But anyways, Duty Bound is the first book of three. And, um, you know, it's crazy because the reviews, uh, they're going to be coming out pretty soon. And um, right now we're in the final proofing stage where we're, pr where we're proofreading the final interior, the final interior of the, the book in the novel itself. And... I'm having to go in and check for errors and we're getting to that final stage because the ARCs or the advanced, advanced reader copies are going to be available on the 22nd and once the advanced reader copies are available they're going out to reviewers and we've already got a media list together and we're already sending we know who we're sending them out to and we've got some big names on there and I'm really nervous because duty bound is like bearing my soul to the world because it's so many pieces of me mashed into this story. I can relate to all the characters. I think I like to think that each and every single one of them has a piece of me. Le Leo has my temperament. Lusana has my inquisitiveness and um, Lucia has my judgment and my uh, my you know my sort of uh, blind faith. you know they develop over the course of the novel, but you know very similarly to how I've developed in life. And, you know, since I've been writing this book for most of my childhood as well as what and well into my adulthood, it, the story has grown up with me over time. So I think that's what really makes this story unique is because, you know, I think that, you know, though it is a fantasy and does take place in a different world, it's very allegorical and it has a lot of influences from my personal life. Um, you know, like the main character grew up without her father. I grew up without my biological father. Um, didn't know who half who ha half of who I was, the same way she didn't know who half she was. And a lot of what she feels um, within the novel and the way it's described is how I felt within my personal life. A lot of the emotions that were placed into this novel are things that I've really experienced. That's why I feel like you know 
putting this out into the world, people are going to see a glimpse of that and they're going to be able to see a side of me that I don't really normally portray or show a lot of people. So it's going to be very interesting to see what people think. I really think sharing the story is important because, you know, I really want people to understand that, you know, everybody's journey is different. Writing is subjective and, you know, that your story does not have to be a certain way. There are a lot of these pretentious writers that think that, you know, there's only, you know, there's a right way to write, that they want to be flowery and they like to show off and flaunt their skills and all that stuff. and. They're critical of other writers, but they don't really understand what it means to really tell a story and how to tell a story that is not only, you know, engaging, enticing, and entertaining, but how to tell a story that's also relevant and authentic and real. And, you know, that's, I think that's the core piece that a lot of writers miss. And, you know, I didn't go to school for writing. I wasn't privileged enough to go get an English degree and have parents who would support me to get such a degree and support me afterwards while I'm looking for a job. I had to choose practicality over passion, which is why I chose public relations and mass communications. It's because, you know, if I was going to be a successful writer and Lightning was always the ultimate goal and achieving this dream of publishing this novel was, you know, the end all be all for me. I knew how to, I needed to know how to market myself, how to build a reputation, how to build a name because I did not have a name and I didn't have a family with the name and I didn't have a family with connections and I did not have privilege. And you know, a lot of that, sh- you know, I'm, I'm very different than the characters in my book because they're all come from privilege, but that's the whole theme in the book is, you know, blind faith, blind privilege, being blinded by having so much and having, you know, being blinded by the light itself. Um, that you're not able to see the darkest parts within of darkest parts of yourself that you need to overcome in order to really understand virtue. It is this whole concept that free will is an illusion, and you know that you know what you see is not what you get, and what you want is not always what you want. I really hope that when you guys get the novel, that you guys will you know take to it with an open mind, um, really see it for what it is, and it's a whole lot more than just you know me trying to follow tropes and trends and really like you know i don't i didn't i you know i had no knowledge of that i didn't really do a lot of research into how to write a good book or how to write a novel i just wrote a novel out of raw emotion and basically built a story that i felt was authentic to me and authentic to how i felt about my life and how i felt about the world and and i wrote it in a unique way and apparently that got the attention of people. So thanks for watching. I hope you got a lot of value out of this video, but if there's one thing that I hope you got out of it, is that it doesn't take a whole lot of talent to be a good writer. And I say that because Stephen King said, it takes a little bit of talent to be a good writer, but to be a great writer, it takes remembering every single scar. And I think that's especially true for authors because It takes more than imagination to really conjure up these stories. It takes understanding the internal and external conflict within your life, the things happening within yourself and outside of yourself that truly affect who you are as a person and how you identify as a being. That is what's gonna make you relatable, is that raw emotion um, that you put into your story. Uh, that's how you're gonna make your characters relatable. And your characters are real people, in essence, right? You want them to feel like re- real people with motives, intentions, thoughts, feelings. They develop as characters as the story goes on. As conflict comes and adversity, they face challenges, they grow from them, and ultimately they become you know, better characters and better people, right? So. Take from that what you will and just know that write for the sake of writing. Write because you love to write and be authentic and genuine with what you write because that's the only way you're going to really catch the attention of readers, you know, publishers, agents, anybody who you're trying to get the attention of. If you really love to write and really want to pursue this as a potential, you know, side hustle or wholehearted career, if you're all in, Really, write with emotion, be authentic, be true to yourself because that is where your story is and that's where your story is always going to be. Don't give up on that one story you loved since you were a kid because that story is a story I'm publishing this summer and I really hope you get it. So remember, 
duty bound june 22nd that is when it's going to be released and uh yeah make sure to follow me subscribe i'll leave all my socials in the description so that way you, it's easy to find me but other than that i hope you have a great weekend and thank you for watching again i'm super excited to start this and share my journey with you so god bless and take care love you guys